Welcome to the Florida Department of Transportation Roundabout Training. This course is broken into a series of nine modules that cover the fundamental principles of roundabout design. Module 1, Roundabout Design Overview. This course is based on the National Roundabout Guidelines provided in NCHRP Report 672. The Florida Department of Transportation has supplemented the national guidelines with state preferences which are included in Chapter 213 of the Florida Design Manual. Florida is a Vision Zero state working toward zero fatalities on our roadway system. Roundabouts play a vital role in this effort due to their excellent safety record. Roundabouts are the safest type of intersection, particularly for bicyclists and pedestrians. Florida has the highest rate of bicycle and pedestrian fatalities among all states. As part of Vision Zero, greater use of roundabouts is an important element of FDOT's bicycle and pedestrian safety solution. This course is focused on roundabout design and features. Material in Module 9 is specific to bicycle and pedestrian safety, but keep bicyclists and pedestrians in mind throughout the training. Your design efforts can make Florida's roads safer. FDOT expects everyone to play a part in keeping our most vulnerable roadway users, such as bicyclists and pedestrians, safe on our roadway system. This graphic provides the basic geometric features and key dimensions of a roundabout. They include entries and exits, splitter islands, which separate the entries and exits, the inscribed circle diameter, or ICD, which includes the circulatory roadway, truck apron, and raised central island, and sidewalks or paths which are separated from the back of curb with a landscape buffer. Roundabouts operate most safely when their geometry positively guides traffic to enter and circulate at slow speeds. Poor roundabout geometry has been found to negatively impact roundabout operations by affecting driver lane choice and behavior through the roundabout. Roundabout design is a process of determining the optimal balance between safety provisions, operational performance, and accommodating the design vehicle. Each roundabout requires distinctive design choices depending on the unique design constraints, traffic volumes, roadway speeds, existing topography, and roadway alignments. The process of designing roundabouts may require a considerable amount of iteration among geometric design, operational analysis, and safety evaluation. Minor adjustments in geometry can result in significant changes in safety and or operational performance. Roundabouts are not homogeneous and cannot be standardized. Trade-offs in the design may be needed, and unfortunately there is no easy 10-step checklist to roundabout design. Important questions to explore. Is adequate space available to accommodate an appropriately sized roundabout? Is additional right-of-way likely to be required? Are there physical constraints that may affect the location and design of the roundabout? Due to the need to accommodate larger trucks, roundabouts typically require more space than conventional intersections. However, this may be offset by the space saved compared with turn lane requirements at alternative intersection forms. The key indicator of the required space is the inscribed circle diameter. This flowchart depicts the steps and process that guide a designer through the roundabout design process and will be the outline that is followed for this roundabout design training. Principles and objectives common to the design of all roundabouts include designed to make the driving task as simple as possible, slow entry speeds and consistent speeds through the roundabout by using deflection, appropriate number of lanes and lane assignment to achieve adequate capacity, lane volume balance, and lane continuity, smooth channelization that is intuitive to drivers and results in vehicles naturally using the intended lanes, adequate accommodations for the design vehicles, meeting the needs of pedestrians and bicyclists, and providing appropriate sight distance and visibility. 
The geometric design of a roundabout requires balancing the competing design objectives, including safety, which we want to provide as much safety as possible, lowering costs and impacts, and providing as much capacity as we can. Favoring one component of design may negatively affect another. A common example of this is accommodating large trucks while maintaining slow design speeds. Increasing the entry width or entry radius to better accommodate a large truck may increase the speeds that vehicles can enter the roundabout. The following exhibit shows the relationship between safety and capacity for a few roundabout design elements. Designers should understand these trade-offs while preparing their designs. For example, using a larger inscribed circle diameter will provide better capacity, but speeds could increase, leading to a less safe design. This concludes Module 1, Roundabout Design Overview.